Let me begin by introducing myself. I am Dr. Oje Olubodu. Uh, I am a chief data technologist. I've been practicing in various establishments of government for close to three decades now. And I'm happy to serve in this uh, committee. And I think it's long overdue. So I salute those who brought out the initiative. So let others introduce themselves, then we we'll now begin to look at the relevant sections of the of our act. Uh, Mr. Marcos. Okay. Uh, uh, my, okay, I'm the, I'm the go second. Hello? Um, yes, go on. Okay, okay. Well, my name is uh, Mr. Onyemobi Marcos. I graduated from the uh, Federal College of Dental and Transicular in Ugo. Uh, right now, I, I mean, I'm into... I'm into private uh, production and manufacturing of dental equipment and materials. So right now, I am the chief executive of a, a dental company known as MacProf Dental Company. I reside in Enugu. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Benjamin, David, can we hear you introduce yourself too? We can't hear him. Yes, I can't even hear him at all. We can see he's talking, but we couldn't hear him. And I know it is yes. a network issue. Okay. Um, no problem. I think um, we can start talking about um, the committee and the assignment given to us. I think we are all familiar with the terms of reference. And uh, among other things is for us to see the inclusion of clinical dental technology into our curriculum. I think the expectation of the uh, association is to see how the relevant, I mean, uh, section in our act could be reframed to ensure that um, we achieve this objective. And so I think they will expect us to make suggestions to them on how to do this. And any relevant and important information will also be very important. I'm happy we have a crop of people who are doing this together. Somebody from private uh, uh, initiative who will give us perspe perspective from the past, uh, private uh, practice. And uh, I think other people too are working in relevant uh, departments, like uh, Stephen Nayarebe, who has been endeavoring to log in, is, is in the university system like me. Uh, Benjamin too, I think he works in a state hospital or something. So the crop of people coming together mm -hmm. to do this uh, coming from different backgrounds. And I'm sure that uh, their rich experiences will be brought to bear on this assignment. Having said that, I think, um, if you don't mind, let me show you the relevant section I think we should focus on. And the relevant section will be shown now as I share my screen so that you can see or uh, if you have any suggestion as to the relevant section you think we should uh, deliberate on, then you should let us uh, know right away. For me, I look at um, the section on training. Please, can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Approval of classes, that is, uh, that is 12. Yeah, okay, that's part three. 
Uh, I think okay, part two, yeah, part two and part three are the relevant area. From my opinion, that uh, we need to. I'm scrolling now, so we three are the relevant area. Part two has to do with registration. That, uh, we need to. I'm scrolling. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, fine. Yes, so sir. Part two and part three are the relevant section for my opinion. But if you have, as, I mean, if you look at it, I believe we must have looked at it. If there's any section that uh, also relevant, that would be fine if we can um, point it out. I believe registration and training are the two sections of our act that we need to look at. If we look at, um, because anyone that wants to become clinical dental technologist must first of all have been a registered data technologist. Am I right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the person must have gone through a course of training of minimum of four years. And um, in dental technology, in a proof institution, licensed, and then return to do dental, uh, clinical dental technology. Yes. That is a course of training that I know uh, we bring in a clinical dental technologist who will be qualified to register. Uh, okay. Let me leave you to bring your idea or suggestion to or discussion into this uh, meeting. Mr. Marcos. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, what you said is still in order, but uh, like I used to, my own uh, way of doing things, I would like us to use it, this particular opportunity to maximize it, whatever we can do, because we all know that uh, this act has never been amended since inception. So, uh, and I bet you a lot of things in this act are already updated. So apart from this clinical dental technology, what is the possibility for us to do all the, as, as many amendments as possible that will tailor this particular profession to the need of the modern times? That is where I, that's where I am, I am looking at. So probably I know that like uh, in the next, it was just, I think, let's say the next, like the last day, uh, four or five hours that this group came up and some of us were informed at that particular time. And like you said, that uh, you, there are some areas you were looking at that, we, that are very important, very, very important that we must touch. So, but uh, when we like, I've not printed that particular document, I just uh, downloaded them. I've not printed them yet, but uh, I intend by tomorrow, I will bring them out in print then sit down, study from A to Z, because I think, uh, I don't know, because uh, the Yarafi, I, I was thinking Yarafi will come in, but she didn't come in. I wanted to ask uh, uh, this particular assignment, is it given to us by our association or is it given to us by the board? That's what I wanted to ask, but uh, Yarafi has not come in, but uh, we can still ask you, I think you should be aware of how this thing came about. So if uh, actually, that we are going to do this, those areas we pointed are the very important areas. The, the, uh, the courses what people, people ought to undergo before they become anything they want to be. And I saw some areas when I, I, I just browsed through briefly, I saw areas whereby uh, before you are registered to the dental technologies, you must have the HND or bachelor's degree. I saw those areas. Those areas need to be touched. Because, uh, like I used to say, and in one of those are my areas of uh, comments in our platform, I used to say, if actually we can remove that clause, that thing, HND entirely from here, I think it's the best. Because anybody who says he wants to be a data technology, a practicing data technologies, a practicing data technologies, that person should go give us a degree. I've been saying it. Bring us a degree to become practicing data technologies. So, and when you do that, because there are many other courses they don't have it at HND level. And in this particular act, we we'll correct that nonsense of HND, whatever disparity, by quietly removing it from the act. So if you want to be a practicing dental technology, 
you go and bring a BSc. Now, if you want to be a clinical data technologist, we say you give us this, and then you'll be registered. Probably because I know that uh, when it happens, we're going to have two registrations based on what we're doing. Well, it will be a registration as the ordinary dental technologies, and another registration as the clinical dental technologies. But it's going to, this app is going to give birth to two registrations, two licenses. That's what it's going to be. Because everybody who is a dental technology cannot be a clinical dental technologist. But uh, you know that the clinical dental technologist is also a technologist because if you have to be a technologist before you become a clinical dental technologist. So this is uh, the area. So like you said, we will go and uh, peruse this area because it's just like four hours or five hours ago. We're good. So some of us have not really sat down and uh, peruse that. So peruse because the way that we are seeing that we only have like uh, three persons here. Yeah. Uh, I told you, when I will look at peruse it, after perusing it, probably we'll schedule this particular meeting again because uh, two other persons are missing. I don't know how it's going to feel when the three people does this meeting. We will need the input of these other two people, no matter how we need it, so that we can forge. If not, it becomes a three-man committee. So that is my own uh, input as of now. Maybe I'll allow the next man to say something, if I please, if he's still uh, there. Thank you. Marcos, thank you. You touched on important things. Uh, maybe I quickly pass some information too. Uh, from the terms of reference, uh, okay. we are not to delve into total review of the act. We are to deal with how clinical dental technology could come in. I understand your sentiments about HND BSc, but then that is beyond what we are asked to do for now. Except okay. if the association, I believe the association that gave us that mandate, not the board things that we should okay. expand mm -hmm. on our terms of reference. Otherwise, we, I want to encourage us okay. to um, narrow ourselves down to inclusion of clinical dental technology into our app so that we could register those who are doing the course, who those want to become clinical dental technologists. So uh, that's the uh, Benjamin, uh, you are trying to speak at your end. Can you let us hear you? Uh, okay. Okay. Hello. Yeah, Mark, uh, Benjamin. Okay. Uh, Do you hear me, sir? We struggle to hear you because the network is bad. I know it is not your fault. It is a network issue. So can you see? Okay, okay. Uh, Benjamin, Sir. Benjamin, if you are hearing me, let me make a suggestion to you. If you are using Hello? Me, yes, sir. Know, yes, sir. Let me make a suggestion. How you can improve your network? I'm here. Okay, if you are using your phone Wi Fi, okay, sir. I suggest that you put it in airplane mode yes, for a few seconds, then activate it again. Your network will be better, hopefully. Okay. If you are using a modem, put it off and on again. Then right, log into the pl platform. That, that is going to improve your okay, sir. Uh, that is going to improve your network. So let's we'll be discussing. I'll be discussing with Marcus over a suggestion that he has made, and then uh, we can all listen to it later. Uh, Marcos, let, you know? let me so try that. Okay. Uh, Marcus, you are hearing me? Yes, I can hear. You. Okay. Now you you say if others can't come in. That become three man committee. No, remember that this is an initial. I mean, an initial meeting. <laughs> uh, it is not meant to take final decision yet, and we may have to have several of these meetings before we uh, finalize. Like I said, I understand your sentiment on nation DBSC, but I believe that um, that is beyond our our terms of reference. But be that as it may. 
I also share your sentiments. And I know that if you look at qualification of those who are practicing our profession today in the country, uh, we will be about 95% having an HND uh, qualification. And it becomes so difficult yeah. for anyone to suggest that we should strike that out of our act. Because it means you are going to exclude this huge number of uh, professionals. But maybe if the terms of reference is extended, we may have to find a clause around there that uh, maybe take care of our sentiments. Uh, nevertheless, uh, I think uh, the suggestion that we should look at uh, the sections that pertains to this and then come back for the meeting again would be very important uh, idea which I share with you. Uh, that is, uh, you say just downloaded it. Myself, I just downloaded it. But however, I've read through, but I know that if we sit uh, on it, we'll be able to make um, understand it better and make um, a, a suggestion. But let us keep it at the terms of reference. That is, adjusting our act, making suggestion on adjusting our act so that it can include clinical dental technology. So uh, um, I think um, it's okay. While we, while we are waiting for this, uh, this other person to get, uh, to get in, probably be saying some certain things, because uh, uh, up to now, he has not yet in. Hello? I can hear you. Uh -huh. He's up to now. I think he's still struggling. I've been checking. Yeah. Well, like uh, yeah, I said, uh, the energy which we will use to amend it once uh, is the yeah. same energy. If you, assuming you include the clinical data technology there, for example, and uh, the energy we use the amending it once, it's the same energy, even if we, we, we have like three or four sections modified, it's the same energy we are going to use in the amendment. So like I said, if I, if I will say, if the uh, ADTM here have uh, our year, we can say, uh, hence we want to do this, why not do this, do this, do this, do this session, do this session, do this session. Then if uh, at our venture, at the end of the day, is, uh, these three other sessions, I said, okay, this one is not uh, enough, or it's not, we're not putting this one there. Well, good and fine, but to me, uh, this issue of uh, making this profession grow, it will never grow if we do not move away the way other professionals are moved. Because if you look at it, you can't see any other professional with HND having the same license in optometry, in a, or the medical lab, the medical lab scientists, in uh, imaging scientists, as they call themselves now, then physiotherapy, which has become medical rehabilitation, and the other one. So uh, then, and pharmacy. You can't see these people saying, having somebody with HN and licensing the person. So, uh, like I'm saying, because at this particular age, 2020, and we have become very old, we are still uh, trying to leap. So if uh, the association will listen to our advice, we should not, uh, anything you do, everybody must not be comfortable when you do start it. When Erufai was building Abuja, many people were crying. He has killed us, he has killed us. But today, Abuja is the pride of Nigeria. Everybody is glad today that Erufai built that Abuja because that is the only place that it was very beautiful for a long time before Aqua Ebon now did their own and became almost better than Abuja. And some other states are trying. But that was the only place where somebody would come and say, yes, go to Abuja after Lagos. You understand? So, like I said, but if me, personally, I have HND. Me, I have HND. So I, I do not, when I want the profession to grow, I do not put myself, ah, will I benefit or not? No, 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 no. Let the profession grow. The only thing there is that if you, we, we accept that we will do this, it's a suggestion. We say, okay, ADTNU, CCC, this is a session. Why would you have a, why we can't we do this, do the commendations, and let's see how this thing goes. Because uh, uh, if we say BSc or HND, uh, you and I know that a lot of people 
Evil College of Health Techs will be doing HND and they will be flooding the thing. And you and I know that when you have such a people in the midst, and when the soldiers who are our are always uh, trying to push us down or trample on us, they, they will have spaces and loopholes where they can capitalize on. But when you say, okay, if you want to practice identity technologies, give us a BSc, you really start. So if somebody goes to College of Health Tech and did the OND, he knows after OND, he's going to get a direct entry into a, any university and get a BSc. Then in the next five years, the way people are taking data technologies, it will not be the way they are taking because we already phased that one out. And for those people who have HND like myself and some other of my colleagues, right now, uh, by the grace of God, somebody in Enugu, one of our colleagues who is the rector in Enugu, has created, created an option. That was one option. Another is coming. Futo will soon start their own. And some other investors who are warming up to have uh, these same courses are going to start. And then these people can also go there and do that. That was how medical lab scientists did that. They did their crash program, used an opportunity, a particular window, converted most of their HND holders into degree holders, reduced it to a very, very minimum. So if we, because I don't, most people of our colleagues, I'm sorry to say that, they are not ready to go and uh, improve themselves, except if they are, they are flogged with cane. Because you see, when they are in their private practice, they are in their government hospital and they are getting their, their private practice, money, they are paying off, they are getting a private practice, they are doing their PP, collecting the money. It is very hard for them to leave their comfort zone and go and make sure they improve themselves. So, but if something comes, a tsunami comes, and they see, ah, it is either we improve ourselves or this tsunami would sweep us aside, that's where you see them. They go back to improve themselves. Because right now, each and others can't even cross more than, uh, I think, 12, I think level 12 or 13. They can't go more than that. It's up to 13 or 14. They can't go more than that, which is very, 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 very bad. So they will get, they said they will get there, we will stay there. They will get there. See, then the soldiers are getting to 17. Everybody, all that person, medical lab are getting to 17. Oh. So like to me, like I said, uh, if because uh, in Nigeria, it's unfortunate that if you have a PGD in addition to a, to a HND, it's supposed to be equivalent to a degree. So, but I don't know how the institutions will interpret that. Like I told somebody, the first set has just graduated a PGD in Enugu, December last year. Now, I was like, I would forward to tell this, the school, I will send the school, when is the statement of resource ready? Because I want, when is the school issues that postgraduate diploma in dental technology, in a commission with the HNE they have, when these people go with them to their institution, we'll see how, how, what, how it's accepted. Because in, in principle and in the rule of law, it shows it's supposed to be if you come with an additional qualification on your HND, you're equivalent to a degree. We know that. So if actually that one works, we can say, okay, BSc or its equivalent and leave it there. BSc or its equivalent. Hello, can you hear me, sir? Marcos, your passion for this profession is unbeatable. <laughs> Uh, you, you really like the profession to grow. You want it to go far. Because from what you are saying, if today, if we, if we succeed in amending this and remove HND, you don't even mind if it will affect you as a person. That I shows, don't give a damn. That shows that is, you have love for it. So, so personally, like I told my colleagues, that me, I tend to still go back to school and get that BSc if I try need it. I told them, doing my primary, I'm in the private sector. That if I need it, I will be enrolling in dental school and I'll get it. It's only about how pay God. Most of these uh, houses that we built today, so most of these uh, plots that we have today, are all from dental technology. So if you cannot take a fraction of that amount you make and put it back to make yourself better, I think, uh, I think we, we need to examine ourselves if we can do that. So because uh, to me, like I said, two things are there. Is that we write BSc? or it's equivalent. And that equivalent, it is going to be a postgraduate in dental technology in addition with the HND. Because uh, some people have been attacked that and said, ah, once PGD is there, they will value it too, that the institutions, most of the institutions, they don't value PGD, they push up, they, put, um, they, 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 they trample on it or something like that. I said, okay, if you say that, leave it at BSc level then. Let all of us, it's going to be a price, all of all the technologies we pay this particular season. And we will make sure 
that any other person who wants to be trained at the Center of Technologies will not make that mistake of going to, first of all to be a HME holder before you come and suffer and become a PSE holder. And that was why I was like, we should stop all the health college of health institutions from running that program. If actually be business. So if we mean business, because the young ones coming up, if you set them up, they, run, they go into the College of Health Tech or a Polytechnic, get a HND, and they come by, tell them, go to the, go and take a direct entry, go and do three years. That person must have spent seven years. Why not tell the person for a big issue? Or guy, it is BSc we want to. So if you want to be a technologist, go and get a BA, an admission into a BSc, and what institution, and get a BA. I think so, I and that is that, I, uh, I, and that is what, yeah. I share your yeah, that is what uh, that is what the medical life sciences did. They removed it. So if you want to be a medical life scientist, you must be a BSc. You, you go to a university. You can't find it in a polytechnic. And when we do this, we kill it from the roots. I tell some people, you can't be telling people, begging people, please don't don't commit crime. No, you keep begging people, don't commit crime. You can't beg a, a, a man. Man is corrupt by. It, it cannot beg a man not to commit crime. It is when you, you place a penalty on the crime committed and you enforce it. When the man wants to commit the crime, he sees the ladder penalty, it will deter him. That's why I tell them. So when you put this, and when somebody wants to run the program, and they say, come, if you are doing this HND, if you are doing this your HND program, come, you will not be licensed to. Look at what is happening. You must get a BSc. So if that the institution I, goes I, I, and I think that is fantastic. That is very fantastic. Your passion for the profession is great. And I think uh, that, the, w this video now will be shared to the ADTN uh, executive. And our request is this, that uh, we should expand on this terms of reference so that it covers about uh, HND and BSc. Uh, the yeah. is and uh, yeah. with the aim of improving our profession. Uh, Benjamin David, you are there. Can you can you speak now? Can can we hear you? I don't think that his audio is still working. Please speak. Can hear him. Please speak. We are we are where your mouth is moving, but we're not hearing you. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes, we struggle too. Yes, wow. Well, Benjamin, uh, you can use the chat and type those things you want and send in because we can't hear you. We can't hear you. We are hearing sound from you, but we cannot really understand. It's all cracking. Ah, uh, it's cracking. It's not your fault. It's all cracking. Mm. Ben, can you hear us? Use the chat. There's a chat provision. Ah. Okay, Marcos. Wow. Uh, Marcos. I, I think yes, we have tried. I think we have tried. I think we will live so, with. This. I think we will live with this. That we should go and look at the act again and come up yeah. with suggestion first of all on the terms of reference we're given yes then this video will be shared on our platform and our request is that let's look at it look at let's look at the act more broadly than the term of uh, reference given to us yeah. if the adtn says we should go ahead they will be able to touch some specific areas as the suggestion will come. But for now, let us look at this part two, part three section, and any other section that is relevant to this and make appropriate mm -hmm. suggestion. You know, this uh, committee is to make suggestion to ADT and executive so that they can decide on, uh, on uh, the option for clinical dental technology. But I wanted to say yes. something. I wanted to say something. You see, I said, before you go for clinical dental technology, you must first of all have been licensed as a dental technologist. Then Beautiful. you have further training to become a clinical dental technologist. A clinical dental technology. Yes. Again, the other option is this, that 
um, you could go straight off. There are programs now, clinical dietary technology that can start from the scratch. That is, yes, 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 yes. So but let us have a degree, the BSc. Yes. So let us give that a thought in our uh, in our review of the act. That uh, okay, it is also possible for somebody to get registered as a clinical dental technologist straight away from the beginning without first of all qualifying as dental technologist. So let's provide those options because people will be coming in in two, two different uh, routes. So uh, yes, what yes. suggestion? Uh, Please, I thought of this actually because uh, you know when I somebody you do th you see if like I told people on on the some platform I tell them if you see something being done in the U.S. or in the U.K. or somewhere abroad where the system is good everything is better everybody knows what is this and gives you your full right do you understand I said hey, all this is you per se when you see it there you say let us do it here it will work. If, if this system, Nigeria system is that way. I told them, for example, I have HND and I want to do master's degree. There are institutions out there that will give me master's degree straight. But when I come back here and I say I want to do master's degree, they'll tell you you have a HND. Go and bring a BSc or go and bring a PGD. I said that option. I said, therefore, in this Nigeria, when we come to this Nigeria, you look at it. What is obtainable? What is recognized? More recognized? What carries weight in this country? Now, we say, okay, if we say, for example, let us do clinical dental technology from year one to maybe, because in there I saw three years, clinical dental technology, I think three years, I think, so I saw three years, clinical dental technology, and I got a degree. And right now, you know, in Nigeria, most of some of the courses were at three, three years or four years, they had to be upgraded to five years because it was used to which of those professions. They all made them four years, five years, five years programs. It happened because, it, because what they should look at is degree, not the number of years. But Nigeria will come, they'll tell you spend five years. This one spent three years. They'll tell you that this degree is bigger than this degree. Look at what that nonsense. This is what we find in this country. So on that note, and it's not me and you, Dr. Lubare, that will change this country. So whether we like it or not, it is the norms of this country. For now, we are stuck with the norms of this country. And we need to do channel our our effort so that it's going to streamline with what the country wants so coming to back coming back to what what i'm saying i was like okay if you say let us do clinical entertainment for, for you in as a first degree now a time will come there will now become disparity between the clinical dental technologies and the real technologies because the thing why i'm saying that when it comes they'll say okay these people read clinical data because they did clinicals from when they were in undergraduate, they did the clinical, maybe they spent five years, did their clinical data technologies, and they graduated. A time will come. Uh, you will now start seeing disparity between the technologies and the clinical data technologies. Now, these things we are talking about, we are suffering from the hands of the dental surgeons or the dentists. Don't you think it's just having another person to repeat the same thing in-house? Hmm. Oh, great thought. Am I making sense? Am I making sense? Great thought. Great thought. Am I making sense? So that is was why I said every clinical dental technologist, if you now want to go into clinical dental technology, you can say our clinical dental technology is two years program. You do your clinical full time. Not the, you come do it full time because that clinical is the part. The surgeons will come and be watching. This thing you are doing. We come, they probably this is one year clinical. You do after the article, you do one year clinical in a particular uh, teaching hospital the way a uh, training, training, training uh, teaching hospital the way uh, dentists do it, dental dentists do it. We do one full year clinical. Then one year of other academic work and course work, one year full clinical. You'll be taught on how to do all these things. This is some of our colleagues are talking about clacking, uh, uh, whatever, whatever, even drop prescription, pharmacology. You can include a lot of things there. Like I said, we can use that particular window to make ourselves not so much different from the dentist. That's what I'm saying. So when we come there, we, we align a program, apart from the, you know, the ones that we're going to get from clinical dental technology practice, there are some other relevant things that will make us, because in the next, to me, I was like, if we do this and we do it as master's degree, and you have clinicals, for you to qualify as clinical dental technology, you must come and do full time two years. Your clinicals is one year, one full serious year. Now at the end of the day, 
we can even say once you do master's degree in clinical data science, you are entitled to have a BR doctor. A lot of things can come into this. And when you are saying, I see doctor, now I see doctor has just a, bit, a bachelor's degree in clinical data, in data technology. No, you are I see doctor with a master's degree. I think you are even better than these people who, who are just doing that B, uh, B, uh, BDS and they are doctor. You are more, you, you can be, you can, you can, you can, you can come into a teaching hospital and fit in. Clean. Because NUC wants people who have master's degree in the profession. And when we do that, I will be able to answer DR. Because you already done your clinicals. Because clinicals is there. You are entitled to that name, DR. So, but that one will come later when we have finished this. One step at a time, when we get what we want and we see the content, because I believe that when the time comes, when mm. because you are doing your clinicals, you understand, a time will come, we will be entitled to that name, DR. So, like I was saying, every we should be that should flow from being a dental technologist to be the clinical dental technologist. And the man that, who said he that, doesn't want that, that, that point is very strong. I agree with you. So, so, we know so uh, disparities yeah, as time goes. Beautiful, on. because yeah. It's for you to if we just do it, run it as a different program. A time will call you create an in-house enemy again. Okay, let's let so, us see. Uh, let us see something, please. Let us see something. You know, yeah. we, we, abroad they are either called dentists or clinical data technologists, and yeah. um, we have to think of what which name we want to adopt. They virtually do the same. We, 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 it's, it's not negotiable. It is clinical dental technologies. We should forget about dentists. Okay. Clinical dental technologist. Great. Okay. That name, clinical. It uh, is very, very important to the course we are where we are going. Okay. That name, clinical. It is very, very important. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We will take that one, clinical dental technologist. Because yeah. you will have if you, if you now mention a dentist, you need to start explaining, explaining that there is also clinical implication of a dentist. Uh -uh. But this one, he said, this man is a clinical dental technologist. You don't need to say what is man doing in the clinic. I think, I, think, uh, I think that speaks direct to our mission and to our goal. Yes. I agree with you. But you see, our conclusion will be based on all suggestions. I pray that in our yes. next meeting, we will be able to meet um, our colleagues uh, so that they come up with a uh, new suggestion. Um, yes. Our guy now, Tavi, is something that I want us to look at together. I think he placed a chart there. Uh, it said clinical dental technology is fine, sir. So he also yes, agreed. I saw it. Yeah, he agreed with you that I, to make it yeah. clinical dental technology. Okay, yeah. that's fine. We so, need to listen so, to our discussion. Yes. So right now, like I was saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello. Oh, your network too. <laughs> Okay. Um, Prosthetics technology. You can go, you can either take musculofacial or you can take a material science. So we have like three, three pathways for technologies. Now, material let, science, let, uh, musculofacial uh, technology. Marcos, and, uh, Marcos, let us do yeah. something now. Yes, sir. We have adopted the name clinical data technology. Then yes. we have, are, are, we, are we also going to be reviewing the kind of curriculum because the terms of reference now limited us to um, adjusting the relevant uh, section of our act. Now, that is number two request we are making from the ADTN. If we are making, we are making a suggestion of name, one, two, uh, we are saying it's going to be after qualification of uh, being a data technologist and they can go for clinical data technology. Three, are we going to also make Hello, a suggestion sir. about... Sir. I'm back. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I'm back. My, my repeat network. those things you said. I wasn't hearing. Uh, okay, okay. Let me repeat what I said now. I said that we are making. We are. We have made three. Uh, please repeat. We have made three points, and the first point is this: yeah. that the name will be clinical data technology. Two. Yes. We are going to be no, yeah. Okay. The second thing is that. Anyone who is going to be a clinical dental technologist, we must be, first of all, be a dental technologist registered with our board, with a license. Then you cannot go yes. for a graduate yes. program, MSc, that is going to yes. be clinical dental technology. Yes. 
Then our yes. third, our third um, thoughts is that we should, should we review the curriculum? Because as it is now, uh, the terms of reference given to us didn't include review of curriculum uh, for clinical data technology so it can be integrated into our act. So when we share Please, this video, Let me ask. Okay. Is that, yes, let me ask. The technical technologies we have, the arts we have, is there anywhere we have curriculum there? I didn't study, look at all of them. No, no, no. There's nowhere we look uh, that, that our art speaks about curriculum specifically. But it beautiful, will, beautiful um, for, another, for us. So uh, right now. I don't think we're bringing another kid into it. Definitely, we must have to about curriculum that is used in other programs. And even by institution that where it is going to be done. I will no, uh, uh, please do. Uh, uh, hello? I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. Uh, the curriculum, the, I said the technology, the data technologies we have now, the arts we have. Yeah. Uh, the, the, what I've seen, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, did I see anywhere there is a curriculum there? I don't think. So at this particular stage, when you talk about art, the art, I don't think it will capture curriculum at this point. Uh, it understand? will capture it. It will capture it. Yeah. it our is, terms, our it terms is, of reference to, uh, to suggest relevance I've made yes. to our art. Yes. No. And I'm not yes. saying that yes. to, make it, to make it useful, we, it is yes. necessary yes. for us to also suggest within our report curriculum. Because you are talking of... Course, of it will be there. No, of course, it will be there as just our, re our the recommendations and suggestions which we did. And these suggestions will now go to the board because I think when this thing, I think if we go to the board, I think are, that's where you have the curriculums for anybody who wants to run that program. Exactly. I hope I'm making sense. Sure, <laughs> sure. The, sure. the board will have the curriculum of anybody who wants to run data technology, this is the curriculum we use. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the anybody who wants to do masters, the run the masters, the equal data technology. This is the curriculum we use. Okay. So Great. that is exactly what I want us to do because uh, whether we like it or not, eh, uh, this particular program, uh, the uh, the art will now say do this, do this. Then the board will now do the nitty gritty of how to do that and do this. Great. I think um, <laughs> now uh, we have really, really bear our mind extensively. And um, I think it's good. And we have laid the foundation. I think, uh, uh, OK, uh, Benjamin said, why we shall be undertaking this assignment? We can as well. He said, we can as well. Um, OK, he wrote a little, a lot here. He said, why we shall be undertaking this assignment? We can as well define pathways in the private sector, civil service, industrialization, okay. research, and innovation. And obviously, as core professionals who are envisioning a better future for dental technology in Nigeria, we may have to magnify the terms of reference, depending on, the, depending on our finishing after reviewing the current act. I think that is great. Uh, the suggestion he made now is in, um, is in a consonant with what we have been discussing, that the terms of reference should be encompassing uh, maybe um, review of uh, our curriculum to, under, to, to, to incorporate a lot of uh, wider practice. I think that is okay. Uh, all this information will be available to our colleagues in the ADTNS by the time we are sharing this video and others who take mm. now, uh, now, let me ask uh, uh, when you talked about private sector. Now, he talked about civil service. Yeah. And he talked about industrialization. Yeah. Research and innovation. Yeah. Now, uh, 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 do. The curricular scientist. And uh, when you can get your hands on that, then we can have a look and now see what one or two things to pull from there. Because uh, when this man just mentioned this sector, these are also other sectors that which will let us see how other medical professionals capture this 
sector he talked about, especially he talked about uh, uh, industrialization, research, and innovation. Let's see whether there's anything there. Because if there's nothing there, then I think this one, we should check their board, their, their professional board. And if it's where they captured it, then we, that this, it is now good for us to now make sure it's captured at the board level. But if, it, if the act encompasses this, what this man just wrote, then I think, like I told you in the first time, we should maximize if this is one amendment we are doing after the donkey years, we should maximize it. This amendment should be the amendment that we can stay for the next 10 years or 20 years before we need another amendment. We can't do amendment today, and next two years we want to do another amendment, like I said. So I think uh, what this one also said here is uh, very important. To, like I said, everybody should try it, Google it, see whether we can get the act establishing every other solid, better, uh, some more solid professions that we know that they are ahead of us. We look at their act and now see, okay, what are the things that we're going to pick, important points are going to pick, and tell us to our the, to the need of the technical technologies. So that's I agree with you. I agree with you. Yes. I think that's an assignment for all of us. Let's look at other acts of other professions so we can draw from their experiences. There's no doubt yes. in our fact. Uh, okay. Uh, so as much as I know, We'll go find this meeting and to be fine for us to sit back and look at our act again and make suggestions in another meeting. And uh, as it is now, uh, we want to suggest that we bring the meeting to a close. Um, the assignment we're going to be going out with is that we look at other acts and we also review our own and bring up discussion in our next uh, meeting. Of course, uh, Marcos and I and Benjamin that are in the meeting have already laid the basic foundation for further discussion in our um, next meeting. So let us uh, take advantage of it. Let's look at a relevant sector, I mean, section of our act and begin to uh, make suggestion or review. Remember that any review of act, like you said, is a tedious process. It has to go through the parliament. So we cannot okay. be going back and forth. We have to make it fine. So that's our request today. What one? Yes. yes. That we should make it all encompassing. So we're going to be touching yes. different areas. But the ADTNS code that gave us this assignment may must be informed of the need for us to do so. Uh, I think I, I will add to this, because uh, uh, Steve is supposed to be doing this, but then let me put out some of these suggestions together. I will share it with you, uh, Marcos. Some of the things we okay. said here in test, then it will go with the uh, what is it called with the video link that we're going to share in our WhatsApp so that everybody can okay. understand what I'm saying. Of course, of course. Yeah. So, so now uh, let me ask uh, when uh, we, at least we need to pick a date or schedule a date for our next meeting, or should we just let when it as let us just leave it as time goes on, we can. I don't know how often we'll be meeting. And you know, we are giving, we are giving uh, one month to work on this. It will be fine if we can uh, decide a date. But for me, okay. I would have suggested that it's like weekend would be good. Weekend. Maybe this Saturday, weekend. Uh, Saturday or Sunday would be good. Okay. Or maybe a fortnight. Let's go and read the act and put up writing together and then share it yes. in the meeting then we can begin to develop our report. But in the meantime, right. I expect that uh, our suggestion to the ADTN that they should expand the scope. I mean, the terms yes. of the reference. That should be clear. Yes. Once you get that, uh, a fortnight, let's make a fortnight, a weekend after this coming uh, one. Let's meet. Mm -hmm. And please, uh, and please uh, if uh, you are suggesting that to them, let them encompass, make it more encompassing. And if they buy this idea that it should be encompassing, because we can we can be running forth and uh, back and forth to amend every time and then, if they make it more encompassing, even if we need they need they say okay take additional two weeks on the one month you have, and whatever is worth doing is worth doing well. They say we need to do not do things shabbishly anymore because we are past that era of doing things shabbishly. This okay. time around we do things and do it properly. So if it's okay, because it's going to be more encompassing, okay, let us add two weeks or even three weeks or, one, or four more weeks. As, we're, as not time, the, we're not running. Yeah. We're not yes. running. We're not running. Yes. As time goes on, mm -hmm. I think if we, we need a session, we can always demand for it. 
I beg you, so please, so Benjamin said, in making it all encompassing, wouldn't it be necessary to involve the DTRBN yet? I think my answer to that is that DTRBN, we finally have to consider our recommendation. So they are going to finally going to consider what we present to them. So they are going to be involved at the end of our own aspect of a review. Well, what do you think, uh, Marcos? Okay. My suggestion to that is this. Now, when you approach the ADTN with this, that will, this is the first meeting we have. This mm. is the views of the members of the meeting. This is what they are saying. This is what we are saying. Now, when they look at it, if possible, they see this. If possible, maybe you can share this video with just the executive there. They will hear firsthand what we are saying. After the whole thing, they say, okay, it is wise to do this. They're on that particular note. They can write the board officially say, in line with the development of this profession, CCCU, we have been the fit to set up a five-man committee that will give us a working document for us to do amend our act. Now, they are informing the board. The board is say, okay, beautiful. We like that. In fact, we carry on. We do it properly. We are, do you understand? Then we, the board say, beautiful. Go ahead. Thank you. Because one, uh, the association ought to be uh, a helper to the board in the development of data technology. We are, not, we are supposed to be working in alliance because all the, the register of that board is also a technical technology and I remember a member of association. So it is what we decide in the association. That's what is taken to the board and implemented there. That's how it's done in other uh, professional, professions. Whatever they decide in the association, that's what they do. That's why you see NME, whatever mm. they decide there. Yeah, they you, you, you know what? Their, their you technology. know what? Yeah, sorry to interrupt you there. The board is a yeah. child of ADTN. It was yes. ADTN that gave back to the board. So they cannot saying. be disconnected. And as a matter of so, fact, like you rightly pointed out, they, we have to work with the ADTN. So I yes. think um, when we share this video with our colleagues within this uh, committee and they listen to it, and I enjoy them to really listen to it, and we also put some light up with it to show what we concluded on today. I think from there you can take it up. And then so uh, uh, Mr. Major said, let's make sure we establish that that synergy on this particular exercise. The synergy that okay. DTRBN and EDTN should work together in this case. I think it's explicit. Yeah. It cannot be over so, so 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 what I'm saying is that when you approach them, telling them it's not just that by just one portion. C, C, no, no, C, no, that is concluded C. already. Uh, uh -huh. We're not talking know, about We're making no, a request. I'm coming somewhere. No, I'm coming somewhere. I'm coming, I'm, I'm still going. Okay, I think okay, when you meet okay. them and you tell them CCCU, and then I'll say, okay, that, that's good. See that? Probably do think that you just, we have to, that, what they ought to do, you just inform the board. And this is the initiative we are taking, you know, in the DTM. We are taking this initiative. These are people who have set up their committee. Now, the board on their own, they can come in in any way to support this, our committee, and make sure we give them something that is what uh, 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 fail proof. Something that somebody cannot just come one day and shoot down. You understand? You know what? So when, they, Ma Marcos, when they give all, yes. Marcos, sorry to interrupt you. You must know one thing. Okay. The process of a median act is a very long one. What we are yes. doing is going to be suggestion because it's going through the parliament. And the board and the yes. association are going to be next involved in this. So, yes. part that they will be involved, the part that they will work together is clear from the beginning. So, and we should not expect that it's going to work straight like that. Lawyers will have to still look at our amendment and so on and so forth. So, it's a long process. Okay. But for me, okay. we will do our bit, then present it to them. Then further mm -hmm. refining can take place at board or ADTN level. So, that is... You know, eh? you know let me tell you one thing. This uh, DTRVN, mm. like the, uh, Mr. Benjamin pointed out, mm, I don't know whether DTBRN knows about what is happening now as of today. No, they know. They will know. I don't know. They will know. So, not they will know. No, not they will know. We need to show. Because when they are carried along, mm. that ADN say, CEO, if ADN tell them, tell the board officially, well, not be by calling on phone and saying it. It doesn't okay. make sense. Like I tell people, if I'm, I'm dealing with you, 
after talking with you, you will think he has ended our have agreed. Hence, you have an office, maybe you are the registrar, and I'm the president of ABTN, and I call you for and we discuss at length. The next thing you will see, the next three days, you will see that thing we discuss officially on your table, written. Okay. That is that's how I that is how I think they should mm, operate. It's good. It's, it's good. Written. That is the best and, way. And if it if it if it is written, it's right next to a table. It's going to not be have an official treatment. That's I what it's going to be. So even if the, the board said, okay, this five man committee that is working for on our behalf, working for us, working for association, working for the profession, okay, this is how we'll come in to support them to do their work. This is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Then on that note, they have a document to work with. Exactly. I agree with you. So if with... after we finish our own, there's going to be another committee, another committee, three or five committee, or uh, going to be set up until they, we get what we want. Do you understand? It will go through the same process. It's okay. I think I agree. And with so you. and I think when it's going there, I think they will they think like I see other people in the house, they go and defend that thing. I hope that the people they call them to come and defend. Mm, that is in I the, hope I'm correct. In the parliament, yes. The yes, parliament. I hope they call them to come and defend. Yes. And then, this is exactly what I'm saying. When, when these things are happening and happening, when the day of defense comes, then people, that is how we will go and be able to defend these things properly. So, uh, like okay. I said, like, Marcus, uh, like Marcus, I said, Marcus, Marcus, let us not go yes, uh, over and <laughs> no over problem, because no uh, uh, no we have no really problem. said it all. Let's not go over, uh, over and it again. So, because uh, so this are question... We taking, uh, I will Our take meeting. it Sunday or Saturday. Let's take yeah, a Saturday. Take Let's take a Saturday. Uh, but that's subject Saturday. to review. Uh. Uh, Saturday, is it evening like this? Evening like this, yes. Okay, probably we should move it up to 8 or 7, or we should leave it at 9. I don't really know. Uh, let's make so, a suggestion now, 9, as usual. Then if anybody says anything that can make us change, then we can all agree together. Okay. Mm. So no we have a wonderful Let's time move. together. The first time we're going to be speaking. All right. I appreciate your coming. It's up, <laughs> it's up, no problem. <laughs> Benjamin David. I, 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 it's unfortunate that some uh, uh, couldn't come in. No, no, no. Benjamin. They will make it okay. next time. We can understand yeah. that it is yeah. network issue. And I believe yeah. that next time they will be able to make it. So mm, no I enjoy your evening and God bless. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bye. Good night, sir. Yeah, good night. Good night, sir. Yeah. Benjamin, good night. Mm -hmm. Okay, he has already <laughs> responded. Good night. Uh, all right, all right.